well, it happened again. I got an another free crappy lawnmower. But this time, it actually has a thing to hit stuff with, which I like. Only problem is, it won't, um, won't actually run. It'll turn over. The starter will turn over, but it won't run. So, I think I've boiled down the problem to be one of the many safeties that go into make this thing safe. Like, either for the blades, the uh, clutch, or the seat safety. Because if I removed this little shutoff here for the uh, spark plug uh, coil, it'll it started over with some starting fluid. So I'm going to have to go through the different safeties and make sure that they aren't all jacked up. Anyway, yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to hook up the battery, get some voltage going through here, and then I'm going to have to test it. Sounds like a plan. Probably gonna blow something up. Anyway. Good enough. I'm gonna try it. Uh, let's see if what I did before works again. There's your problem. Oh, more troubleshooting. So now I gotta figure out what the heck it's doing. Yay! Figured while I'm here, might as well grease the fittings. I don't know, I'm calling that good. <sighs> now I'm gonna give it up. Son of a bitch. Round two. Fight. Oh, that's nice. Whatever. Get enough. Give it. Ah. Ah. <sighs> Why? I should be stingy. Ah. Oh. There we go. Easy. Well, 
tis the next next day I think I figured out what the problem is down in here coming off the key switch up in there there's a blue wire which goes down and through here it used to go from here onto one of these wires and went down and went to the switches for the blade engagement and the um, brake pedal slash clutch and came back up went to the fuel solenoid came back and then went up into these relays sitting right back in there well I think what happened is coming off of the key switch going down into those switches something in there messed up <clears throat> and wasn't allowing power through and since there's two wires going through those switches the one right there the one right there it was able to crank but it wouldn't start because I just got it to um, uh, fire over with the starting fluid with this still on there so in theory it should be fixed now now that I just bypassed the um, switches down there and now it just goes through there although now that I think about it now the fuel solenoids not gonna have power but what we'll, uh, just worry about that later anyway yeah I'm gonna fix that problem I just realized Put the fuel tank back on it. And, uh, guess see if it'll uh, run for me. Well, plot twist. I got it running. I'll show you here in a second, but I gotta set it back up. So, finally got some gas for it. And now, it actually runs. But there's a little... I found out what the problem with the solenoid is. Sometimes Men, what a disgusting display of raw power. Now who's ready for war? And who's ready to die? This needs a <laughs> of the Fonzarelli. Yeah. Works mint now. So I guess that concludes what I've done. Which barely see in there you can see the remnants the wire nut or the crappy wire but yeah now i got a another lawnmower hooray i really need to get rid of some of these anyway have a nice day